Hello, hello. This week I am starting a series called Are You Bougie? You know the acronym for bougie means bold, one of a kind, unbothered, God's girl, intentional and elegant. So this week I wanna share with you three things on how you can be bold. Number one, speak up. If you want that raise, speak up about it. If you want that new job, speak up, apply for it. If you want to start that business, speak up, get the tools that you need, reach out to people that can help you, speak up. You know, as women that are bold, we're not quiet about things that we desire and we feel like we deserve. If we want to start something, we will speak up about it. We will go for it. You know, when you see injustices around you, speak up. Don't be quiet and cower down in the corner. You know, let's be like that woman in Judges 18 when she wanted something, she kept going to the judge and saying, you know what, I need this, I have to have it. She was persistent, she was not quiet, she spoke up about it. So I, so I encourage you, number one, to speak up about what you want. Number two, when you are bold, you step out of your comfort zone, you step out of your box. You said, you know what, I don't even know what a box is. You step out and do things that you've never done before, knowing that if you don't try it, you don't know if you're gonna succeed. A woman who is bold steps out in faith. She steps out knowing that God is with her. He has gone before her. He has made the crooked places straight. So she knows if God is with me, I can get this done. So she puts on her stilettos or Converse or whatever she is rocking with. She said, God, me and you, we're gonna get this done. A woman who is bold steps out and of mediocrity. She said, you know what? I was built for more than this. I know that God has equipped me. I know that I can get it done. It, with God, all things are possible. God has put everything in me to do what he has asked me to do. So a woman who is bold, she steps out. Number two, you're going to step out. You're going to step out of your comfort zone. You're going to step out in faith and you're going to step out on mediocrity. So as a woman being bold and bougie, step out. Number three, a woman who is bold stops comparing. She stops comparing her looks and her talents to other women. She knows that she is an individual and she knows what she brings to the table. She embraces her quirkiness and her uniqueness and knows that what she brings completes the equation. Women who are bold stop comparing. They know that other women are beautiful and talented and they know we can work together as a team. Stop comparing yourself to others. You are uniquely and individually made. You are beautiful. You are one of a kind. So I encourage you as the week goes on to go back and watch these videos about three ways to be bold and bougie. Number one, speak up. Number two, step out. And number three, stop comparing. Mm -hmm.